Hi, my name is Kyle Whaley. I'm a physiotherapist and clinic director here at Propel Physiotherapy. This is my colleague Hung Pang, the clinic manager. We're going to demonstrate today the Dix Hall Pike Maneuver, which is a testing procedure to determine if a client has BPPV or benign proxismal positional vertigo. Uh, the Dix Hall Pike, if we suspect the issues on the right, Hung is going to swing his legs up. He's going to cross his arms. We're going to turn his head 45 degrees to the right. We've got a pillow here. He's going to lay back over. Hung, I'm going to lay you down quite quickly. Your head's going to be tilted backwards slightly, 30 degrees. Yep. Um, I want you to keep your eyes open. Don't look at my eyes. Look at anything but my eyes and nose. But please keep your eyes open and tell me when your symptoms start. Ready? One, two, three. Come down quickly. Eyes open, eyes open, eyes open. I'm looking for nystagmus or an involuntary beating of the eye. If this was positive for posterior canal canalothiasis, I would see an upbeating nystagmus with a downward torsional component. Once the symptoms subside, we're going to go right into the Epley repositioning maneuver, which is to reposition the debris or oticonia in this posterior canal. We're going to turn the head all the way, excuse me, 90 degrees to the left. Are you ready, Hung? One, two, yes. three. Body stays in the same position, eyes open. Once the symptoms have subsided, Hung, when I tell you, I'm going to have you roll onto your left side. We're not going to change the position of your head. I will continue to hold it. Ready? One, two, three. Roll onto your left side. <laughs> Point is now head down. I'm supporting their head. I'm asking the client, do you have any symptoms? Yes or no. When they start and when they finish, once the symptoms of vertigo have subsided, we bring the client up. I'm going to have you bring your legs off the bed. We're going to come up sideways. One, two, three. And I'm staying nice and close, holding the client and waiting for the symptoms to subside, to subside, excuse me, if there are any. That is the Dix Hall Pike maneuver with the Epley repositioning maneuver right after.